Hello y'all, welcome back. So I'm set up out at another lake. Uh, I've got a lake right here beside me and it's a primitive campsite. There technically isn't even a fire pit here. I'm probably not gonna use that. I'll use the one that I've got. Uh, but I've got the truck all set up and I've got my new tackle box all filled up and I've got some fishing poles. And the goal is gonna be to catch a fish and cook it up for dinner tonight. So I need to get a couple of my rods rigged up with some dip bait for catfish. So we'll see if we can make this work. Keep your fingers crossed that we catch something. I've got probably three or four hours of light left and we'll see if we can make it happen. Stay tuned y'all. So I've already got the sinker and a swivel tie on. And I'm just gonna go ahead and use a, a dip bait rig, because I've got some dip bait with me. And that usually works good for little eater-sized catfish. And that way we only really need to catch one. So we've got our dip bait worms here. These are already pre-rigged with a line on them. We'll go ahead and use a purple one. Oops. Ooh, come on. And since they're pre-rigged with a knot on the end, we'll just loop it around like we did the last one. And there we go. We've got our dip bait rig on there. And of course I don't have anything with me mush it down in there with but let's see what we can make happen I'll find a stick that's what I usually do this stuff stinks triple S channel cap bait as you can see I've got some broken spoons in there yeah it smells pretty bad Just glob this onto here. It's nice and nasty. Let's just go ahead and take this out of the truck because it stinks. I'd rather do it right here. This stuff is pretty gross. I didn't get a ton of it on there, but usually with this stuff, you check it like every 15 minutes. So we're just gonna toss it out there. It doesn't have to be super far, super crazy. Let her sink to the bottom and put her rod in our rod holder. And we'll just stick a bell on the end of it here. So if something hits it, we'll hear it. There we go, we've got one rod set up. I've got two catfish rods out with dip bait. I'm gonna set my timer on my phone for like 20 minutes and that way I uh, freshen up the bait and uh, check the rods every 20 minutes to make sure I catch something. At least hope I catch something. Otherwise, we're going to be eating ramen tonight, and I really would like to have a nice fish sandwich. But why don't we go ahead and grab ourselves. Let's what do we got? There we go. We're going to try a line and Google summer shanty. I'm pretty sure I've had one of these on the channel before. They're pretty tasty. It's almost like a, like a lemonade. It's really good. And it's beautiful out here today, guys. Uh, it's like 65 degrees. I want to say the low tonight is probably... I'll look. Hold on. Let me set the old camera dangler up. And we will 
We'll just take a look at the forecast. How about that? How crooked is that? Wow. Maybe that's better. Nope. My truck's crooked. Either way, it's five o'clock, so I've got about two and a half hours of light left. Currently 64 degrees, and we have a low of 36 tonight. And I don't know if you guys saw uh, right in the beginning, but I have my uh, just regular sheets. I took, finally took the flannel sheets out. I've got my uh, lightweight sleeping bag back there. That's like a 30 to 50 degree bag, so it'll be perfect for tonight. But might not have any luck. Might be my first unsuccessful catch and cook attempt for the season. That's tasty, but I can smell that nasty bait on my hands. Well, I think it's time to just grab the old chair, sit down and keep my fingers crossed we catch something. Well, y'all, the sun is going down behind me. It's a little bit after 7.30, 7.40, uh, after more than half a dozen bait refreshes and recasts, I have still not got a single even nibble, not a, not a ding at all. Uh, and honestly, this is like one of the first times, this is probably the first time, maybe I'm wrong, but I usually always have luck with this this dip bait. I don't know. It always brings in the small ones, the perfect ones to eat, but I'm not having any luck right now. But uh, starting to cool off, so we're going to get the fire going. I've got my uh, Yuko Gear flat pack grill and fire pit. Because technically, you're not supposed to have an open fire here, so. Um, somebody came around hassling me I don't know if the, the homemade fire ring would be enough but this should work we're gonna get this guy going Part. We 
we'll get that guy going. It should burn pretty easily. You can hear the geese honking. There's somebody way over there on the other side. There was two boats here earlier, but they have since left. And I watched those guys fish the dam and I didn't see anybody catch anything, so. Fire is blazing and we're having a good time. Be a much better time if we could actually catch a fish because uh, if not, we're eating ramen tonight. <laughs> so stay tuned guys. Bonanza! That's what took me a while to get here. Um, I had to go grab Bonanza, and I figured if I was going to grab Bonanza, I should grab this because I didn't know how off road this was going to be. Yeah, it's a little bit rough or right probably here. Probably would have got stuck. Yeah. You think, kid? Huh? Chase some geese. I saw this place on uh, maps. And it just looked like grass. This must have just been in the last like year or two. Or three, oh no, this has been here for a long time. Has it really? Yeah. Yeah, I saw this place on Google Maps and I was like, that looks pretty cool. But I didn't. It's I saw, a nice spot. That's how they just, they don't charge for camping here. No, either. this is a free spot. Yeah. Cause I was looking, I think one of these places over here, it kind of looked like I could get the camper stuck there. You could definitely get it stuck here. Um, <laughs> we'll drag it out, it'll be okay. I mean, there's a there's kind of a back end spot straight across from us that's farther over to a sandwich. Yes. Oh. We got a feed killer over here too. Thankfully, uh, thankfully Brock brought me a sandwich, I guess, because <laughs> I can't catch a fish to save my life, so we've been saved. The world works and mysterious ways. Mm -hmm. So he's going to be crashing out in his Escalade. Uh, if you've been following along, you saw the video where we kind of built the bed. And he's got some sheets and whatnot in there, so he's going to crash out tonight. Hopefully he should be set. I've crashed in it a few times now, but just like around the shop and stuff. Yeah. It's perfect for like daytime naps mm. when it's sunny outside. I'll go out there and I'll take naps when I should be working. I thought we were going to catch fish. Have some mm. fish. That bright light on the horizon, guys, that is the moon and it is huge. And the camera just never does it justice. No. You can see some taillights on a car across the lake. Bananas over there. Bananas. <laughs> <laughs> Bananas. <laughs> Bananas over there laying in the grass. Can't even see her. I'm trying to think of a good way to describe that without using a Burger King sign. <laughs> it is, it's like orange too. Yeah, at first you said something about it, it kind of freaked me out. You're like, holy cow. Yeah. You're like, what? What is it? Oh. That's awesome. Yeah, it doesn't like, it. the, the camera doesn't do it the single bit of justice. It is huge. Off-road 
machine's coughing up something though. <laughs> Try it. <laughs> Come on, hey. Seems like you're just about as out of breath as she I'm is. I'm way more out of breath than she is. <laughs> <laughs> She's only got 50 pounds to move around. Where are you going? Giving her too much light. Well, there she goes. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, sorry you didn't catch the good action of her running around. <laughs> off pretty good. Yeah. Yeah, she had the zoomies there for a second. Her version of the zoomies. <laughs> <laughs> hey, what are you doing? It's like she was half trying to bark. Yeah, she does that. Chopping. I can, I can get her to bark pretty good. There you go. All right, we've made it into the rig. My shoes are nice and muddy, which is awesome, but it is where it is, right? It is late. It's probably like almost two o'clock, probably one o'clock, 12.53. So we've been hanging out for a while by the fire. Oop, there goes my phone and just BSing. And we've had a good time. There goes my phone again. Uh, first time I've camped with Brock. It's been a great time tonight. I'm thankful that he brought some sandwiches. I had some ramen that I could have cooked tonight, but uh, it was nice to not have to do anything since I cannot catch a catfish, I guess. I did get a couple jingles on the, the rod later this evening, but no hookups. They're still both out. I've got the window open, so I'll hear them if they go off tonight, but we'll see. Maybe we'll wake up to a catfish, but our catch and cook plan did not go as planned, so to speak. So where are we going to put this? All right, y'all. Right, well, Change into my pajama pants. Probably gonna get, should I get a movie going? It's late. What did I do with my phone? Oh, it fell down here. Let's get the thermometer out, although it's probably not accurate right now. This is saying that it is 46, which might be correct. We'll see what the outside temp is. This says it's 43. Anyways, y'all, I think, I think I'm just going to lay down. I think I'm just going to bed. I've got my tablet with me. I could watch movies, but it's already one o'clock in the morning. Uh, I've had a good night tonight and we're going to try to keep warm. I've got this window open here. We'll go ahead and close that a little bit. I don't need that open all the way. And I've got new pillows, so there's there's a lot of cush to those. And then what I usually do with the summer bag is I like open it all the way down to the bottom so I can stick my feet in there. And then I just end up using it as a blanket. It's only a 30 degree bag. I do have a blanket under the bed with me if I need to use that tonight, which I might need to use it. We'll see how that goes, but I'm gonna go ahead and start with this. I do have a hoodie in it and I changed into a stocking cap, but yeah, I'm going to go ahead and get crashed out, y'all. I hope you guys have enjoyed the video so far. A little bit different. Uh, we didn't we didn't catch a fish, and we ate a ham sandwich, thanks to Brock. And uh, we'll take a look at his Escalade in the morning, and I'll show you guys what he's done to it uh, as far as the bed and stuff like that goes. So stay tuned. I'll see you guys in the morning.
7 30 in the morning and it's bright out there oh it's a balmy 36 degrees out right now it could definitely be a little bit warmer oh man the sun is coming basically straight through that window right onto my face I don't feel like I've heard Brock moving around yet or let the dog out. Oh, man. I don't hear any bells digging. I can't believe. I can't believe I didn't catch a fish yesterday. I really, honestly, I'm surprised by that. I always catch them with that damn dip bait. But, not, not this time. Oh, man. The windows are frosty. The windows are a little fogged up, but the sun's coming up straight across from me. Right into my eyeballs. Well, I got something figured out. You move it around. Wake up. I don't know. I'm sure you can hear all the geese just honking out there. Shut up. All right. Yeah. It's time to get up. You wanna show me the show them the bed and stuff since you fixed it up? Yeah, yeah, good. It's a mess in there right now. Well, mine's always a mess. <laughs> Still on in transits. Don't look at that too closely. <laughs> I've not had a chance to do anything. There it is. Well, there you go. So there's the bed we made, y'all. Mm -hmm. We covered it with some. Paisley? Yeah. <laughs> you got dinosaur sheets. I got sheet. dino I got dinosaur sheets. The dinosaur sheets. Yeah. 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 <laughs> I uh I did a poll on Snapchat asking what I should do and asked a couple of my friends. And I was like, I'm looking at these three different sets of sheets. What should I get? And they were all like dinosaur sheets <laughs> without a question. So they look great. <laughs> yeah, that looks comfortable. It works. You got a decent amount of room in there. I feel like you have more headroom than I do. Maybe. I don't know. It's probably pretty close. Yeah. It looks comfortable. It works. It is. It's cozy. Mm-hmm. And you can't really complain at all. I mean, classy as fuck in a Cadillac. <laughs> <laughs> it just looks Power overdone. Lift gate. Yeah. It looks overdone. <laughs> That's all it is. Oh. Well, they all were enjoying the... It's a beautiful morning here. Bonanza has already had breakfast. And uh, we're just going to hang out for a little bit. So I picked these up the other day. And I haven't used them yet. But Coffee and tea bags. No brewer needed. Just add hot water. West Side Grind Cafe de Haiti. Medium roast.
Smells really good. Smells really good. Has she ever locked you out of a vehicle? All right, man. Good hanging out with you. Yeah, good hanging out with you too. Thanks for letting me come out here. Anytime. I kind of invited myself, I guess. Anytime. I was just like, what are you doing? <laughs> well, you saved me with dinner. I would have been eating ramen noodles and pop tarts for supper. The sandwich was much better. <laughs> Yeah, you can do it. And we're back down to just one dummy out in the cold. Um, coffee's brewed. I'm gonna start getting all my junk picked up and I'm gonna get out of here also. So let's get that taken care of and uh, get on the road. time last night it was awesome that Brock showed up it was completely random he just asked me what I was out doing and he was out at a, a different local lake and we decided to meet up and it's awesome that he came out because my fishing skills were not on point yesterday and I could not catch a fish to eat uh, I wouldn't have starved I had some ramen and crap with me but the sandwich was definitely better anyways uh, and it's always good to see Bonanza so I had a blast. The moon coming up last night was crazy. Uh, it just, it kind of took me off guard because uh, it was so big, but uh, the cameras just never do it justice. I don't know, but it was beautiful. And then the sunrise this morning was also beautiful. And although it was chilly, uh, it's 41 now, although it was kind of chilly this morning when we woke up, uh, you know, with the, with the seasons changing, it doesn't, it's just not as brisk, I guess you should say. But anyways, guys, I'm gonna get headed home. I'm gonna try to get this video edited and put out today. Today is Sunday. And uh, and, uh, and we'll get some adventuring in this week. I've got a couple plans for stuff I'd like to do this week. Huh. I wanna keep trying to fish, man. I, I, it seems like it's been so long since I've done a catch and cook at camp. Uh, probably last summer sometime. But. Next one of these days stop telling me what to do one of these days I'll actually catch something and uh, maybe we'll get the boat out this week but it is also supposed to be very rainy so we may just be camping in the rain and adventuring that way so we shall see but I hope you guys enjoyed it I know this video is probably like a little scatterbrained because uh, nothing was working out how I wanted it to and then Brock randomly showed up so uh, whatever it is what it is I had a great time and that's all that matters I hope you guys enjoyed it as much as I did and as always stay tuned for the next adventure I'll see you in a bit mm -hmm.